evening, day five of going sober for October, and uh, and today I thought I'd shake it up a bit, and uh, I'm having I'm having a having a, a, a water in a wine glass. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, if only if only I had the powers to you know reimagine the constructs of the water. In order to you know take take the water and turn it into into wine, you know, it reminds me actually of a of a, of a miracle I once witnessed. Um, now this is going back to the grand opening of my uh, my wildlife sanctuary back in 1978, and um, we we'd invited the, the the mayor, the mayor of the town. Um, he was a he was a a, a drunken curmudgeonly fellow. Uh, uh, by the name Charles Felix Stowe the Third, and uh, he he owned a big grass shooting uh, you know, complex uh, just outside the the town. You know, and uh, he came he came along um, on condition that um, that we supplied him with uh, with with a, with a glass of gin. Now, as soon as we heard this, you know we. Uh, Red flags were were waving around, and uh, and you know, sure enough, we got we got a message from his son, um, his son uh, Charles Felix Stowe the third junior, and um, and he said, whatever you do, don't don't give my dad, uh, you know, gin, because he will die. He's got he's got a liver uh, condition. You know, he's 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 a, He's a raging alcoholic, you know. the the man The man is is trouble, so don't give him the gin. So I right, I thought, okay, well look, I need the I need the publicity, okay. So I'm not gonna deny the man his gin, but at the same time, I'm just gonna lie to him and tell him, that we, yeah, we'll give him the gin. So what we did, we put we put white, we put water. So we put water in a. In a, in a glass, not a glass, not unlike this, about twice the size of this, and uh, we said that that was full of gin. That was good enough for him. So he came along, he came along, and he uh, he, he he posed for the photos, you know, and um, you know, shook my hand and uh, and and cut the ribbon and unveiled the new um the new complex, new wildlife sanctuary and butterfly enclosure, you know, and there we were in the photo underneath, you know, the brand new, brand new, um, you know, brand new butterfly sculpture that I'd had commissioned, you know, and that was, that was hanging precariously above our heads, you know, barely past the health and safety inspection the day before, to be honest, you know, we'd, we'd sort of, we'd hung up this two ton butterfly sculpture made out of steel, uh, you know, we, we'd, we'd hung it up with a, with a, with a bit of string, uh, you know, that's all we had, a bit of twine, and, you know, it, <laughs> it was, it was, it was wobbling about, but, you know, different times, different times, wasn't it? Um, of course, of course. At that point, he takes a sip of his gin, doesn't he? Takes a sip of the gin, spits it out immediately. He's we rumbled, we rumbled. He, he's not having it. He's not having it. You know, and he spits out the water right in the face of a of a little boy scout in front of him, who was getting a badge. He was getting a badge that day. He was being awarded a badge for for saving a a hedgehog from um, from a car crash. And um, you know, uh, you know, the poor, poor little boy now got he's got water all over his face, and um, well, I mean, one thing leads to another. I mean, the uh, the mayor then pulls out a gun, pulls out an ancient antique revolver, you know, and he grabs the grabs the hedgehog from the boy, and he says, he says, right, which one of you, which one of you's, you know, switch my switch my my my, my gin for water. <laughs> and uh, you know, and I'm just thinking, well, you know, oh, oh must be one of them, must be one of them miracles, you know. It's, it, it, he weren't having it, he weren't having it. And my, my, my wife Linda's there, my wife at the time, you know, Linda. She, she, she you know, oh, she's on a high horse, using it, you know, because she was writing horoscopes at the time. She thought she could help him, and I'm just standing there going, nobody wants to hear your bleeding horoscopes, Linda. You know, it's not helping. He's got, the man's got a gun to a hedgehog's head. He's threatening to shoot it. 
you know, and we're all, we're all panicking, you know, we're, we're expecting a bloodbath, and then out of nowhere, you know, the, uh, suddenly the, the big, the, you know, the, the sculpture, the two-ton butterfly sculpture above the mayor's head, you know, it, it cuts loose, and it's coming down towards his head, it's going to crush the fella, but in a, in a, you know, quick as lightning, the little boy scout pushes him out of the way, grabs the hedgehog, and and everyone every everyone's safe. No one no one died. And that, I mean, it's a miracle that anyone survived that. To be honest, jeez.